Hey there players, welcome to the next part of my Mafia 3 playthrough. I've just got to meet up with Donovan. This is called the Dead Stay Gone mission. And so this is a whole new uh, district that I've got to take over. So I'll quickly have a chat with Donovan, see what the news is. He likes hanging out at bus stops, he's weird like that. And then I'll get on with the mission, y'all. You ever heard of Enzo Conti? Think Sammy mentioned him a time or two? He's 61, old school mob. Been running Barclay Mills for decades. He started off extorting the railroad and moved on into industrial waste. All the heavy construction equipment and supplies for the casino, steel, concrete molds, that kind of thing, was all brought in via Enzo's trains. All that shit has to be worth millions. Enzo didn't just hand it over to any cat who walked in the door. Marcano's a felon, so he's got to have a partner, someone who's legit. If he does, that person's buried deep. I went through the paperwork, it's a goddamn maze. Which means we need to get Enzo to tell us who it is. According to my sources, Enzo's not a big fan of the casino. Thinks anyone who's not Sal Marcano's gonna end up getting fucked. So I might be able to use that to flip him. Probably have to squeeze him pretty hard, but it's worth a shot. He's still involved in the railroad and has to store all that industrial waste somewhere, so I'd start there. Once I take his district from him, I'll give him a call from the motel, off him and out. And if that fails, you could always give him a Hanoi hangman. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got to find out what's going on. We need to talk to Connie DeMarco. Uh, luckily she's not too far away. If you don't know what a Hanoi hangman is, don't look it up, it's fucking pretty gross. Enzo Conti busts his ass covering the kickbacks to his Frisco friends Capo. He's a festy old fucko who works his way up to being the lieutenant of Barkley Mills. Taking Enzo out will be the first step towards discovering the identity of his capo. Sweet, well we can do that. Alright, let's jump out of this car, this road's not going anywhere. What the hell? What do you reckon of my Volkswagen? Pretty sweet ride. Not. Alright, let's go talk way. to Connie. Look who it is. Good to see you up and breathing, Connie. <laughs> well, fuck, man. He got kind of crazy when you was taking over the warehouse in River Row, but I got out all right. Heard you know something about the Barclay train yard. Yep. This is more independent likes between the two of us. That friend of yours in the nice tan suit figured you need eyes and ears on Pete Santini's shipping operation. What's Santini up to? He's a protection man here in Barclay. You want to see whatever you put on a train end up where it's supposed to be? You got to pay Pete's people. Sounds kind of small time for one of Marcano's outfits. Give the man a prize. Ever wonder why this city's got so many guns? Marcano and Enzo got Santini running them. You bust up them deals and you put the hurt on Pete's business. All right. I'll see about getting my hands on that map. Be seeing you. Drill, lean on Santini's people, Sorry, see what they got to say. get a map. Sun's coming up. What do I do with my sweet ride? That's not it. It looks a bit like it though. Oh, I've lost it. Maybe car peoples. That'll do. Give me your car, y'all. Gonna need to take your ride, please, darling. Please, why are you doing this? Sorry, love. <laughs> It's just my job. Alright, so I've got to pick a place on the map. Let's just go here because it's close by. Oh, here. Right, we'll go to this one first. Well, it's a bit of a ride. We might be able to take a shortcut. Oh, trees. They're really uh, tough trees in this game. If you hit them, it seems to cause a fair bit of Oh. Oh, check the house. Hopefully this shortcut pays off. Let me through y'all. Yeah baby. That was awesome. Oh. Heaps of time. 
stuffed up my car, but who cares? There's more of those around. This car's pretty fast too. How you do a jump. Sweet, so it's not far now. Oh, there's a copper there. He's turning around. No, it's not. I found my GPS just kind of turned off then. That was a bit shitty. It's been this building over here. Right, that's close enough. Hopefully I can get in from the side. I might need to go in from the front. Could be a back door though. Let's check it out. Maybe we can take this staircase up to the top. go. I just smash the window. There is no window. Alright, looks like there's a lot of Fuck high beams around. So it's always best to go in through the back way just because a lot less goons hang out there or seem to hang out at the front. Huh? This here is oh, some private shit. Here. Keep moving. That gives you oh, Jesus. Run. Hopefully this is this chicken a snitch. Oh Jesus, run! I don't wanna hurt her if she's not snitching. Go back to your Out office, lady. Way. Move! Uh, I think she's alerting. Hey, who's up this ah, run! Run away! Uh, there's heaps of guns and stuff here at least. Oh Jesus! Well, I think we gotta uh, explode them. We got a problem with this asshole! It's a bad year in here. choke the life out of you. Just things of. Going down. Got myself a new Uzi. Oh, one bites the dust. You ain't that slide, ah. dish yet. All right. Well, my next mission seems like two thousand, uh, two and a half thousand yards away. So I think I've done everything here. Might be a few more uh, boxes I can explode if I have a look around. Hey, he's over here. Take him down. And there's a uh, medical kit up here, so I'll grab that. Oh, and a bullet. Uh, you never see it coming. <laughs> Well, I carked it, but I think I've done everything I need to do in this section. So in my next video, I'll drive the two and a half thousand yards and do the next bit of the mission. Thanks for watching. Catch you later, peeps. Bye.